When circumstances arise, we see math. We see economics. We see finances. We see where we can or cannot do things with the resources we have in our hands. Verse 7, he says this. He replied to Jesus, it would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each person to have just one bite. That is 200 denarii for every person to just have one bite. I'm sorry, Jesus. We can't do this. This was a test for Philip. A test to see if Philip could see a problem through a spiritual lens of faith. Something Jesus is trying to teach Philip here and what he wants to teach us today is that sometimes practical problems can call for spiritual solutions. Sometimes practical problems can call for spiritual solutions. But the truth is, most of us are just like Philip. When circumstances arise, we see math. We see economics. We see finances. We see where we can or cannot do things with the resources we have in our hands. But the part that amazes me about this story is, this was the disciples about second year following Jesus, which means they have seen miracles. They know about turning water into wine. They have seen Jesus heal the leper. They have seen Jesus overcome a raging sea. They have seen Jesus cast demons out of a man and two pigs. They have seen Jesus raise the widow's son back to life during the funeral. They have seen him overcome elements of the natural, elements of the supernatural, and the same guy who has overcome all of these elements is the same guy asking Philip, hey, Philip, where can we get bread to feed these people? Why is this important? Why is this so important? You see, notice, Philip answers the wrong question. Philip answers the wrong question. Jesus asked Philip, where? Philip answers, how? Jesus asked Philip, where can we get bread? Philip answers, how? They don't have enough money. Jesus asked Philip where. Philip answers how it is impossible. You see, for many of us, what holds our faith back at times is we are so focused on the how instead of the where. When we have things come up in our life, different circumstances, different issues, we get worked up about something, we immediately look to how we can or cannot do something with our efforts, with our resources and our hands instead of looking to the where it can happen. Jesus asked Philip an impossible question. It seemed like an impossible question. Where? Church this morning, if Jesus asked you an impossible question about where, guess what? He's the where. He's the where it can happen. And if Jesus is the where, he will provide the how. If he is the where, he provides the how. Philip had the situation to figure out, and he was putting his faith into their pocketbooks, into their resources. But the truth is, Jesus was about to be the where and the how these people are fed. Philip had an impossible situation to figure out, and church this morning, what is yours? We all came through these doors with situations in our life, circumstances, issues that we are dealing with. When we look into the world, see the issues there. We look into our nation, we see the issues there. We look into our cities, our homes, and within ourselves, we all are dealing with issues. We all have things in our life that sometimes it might get to the point of feeling like impossible. And the question is, are we looking at the how it can or cannot be resolved with our efforts or are we looking to the where it can? We can't blame Philip. Philip's, Philip's a smart guy. Philip knew that it would take a half a year's wages to feed that many people. Philip is not a bad guy. He's a regular guy. And he gave a regular guy 
answer. And he's actually correct. Philip is actually correct in the natural. But the truth is, most of us are just like him. When situations come our way, we look at the math. We see where things do add up. We see where things don't add up. We see where things are adding up against us. We see math. Math was one of those subjects in school that I actually felt like I was somewhat good at. I actually enjoyed math growing up. I remember I enjoyed solving the equations until I got to algebra. You all remember algebra, right? That's where they ran out of numbers and started using letters. (laughs) Then we had to learn about all of these different ways to do the equations, to work out formulas, and uh, we had to learn about variables, and ah, it just got too much for me at that point. But see, Philip has an equation here, and he is using basic math. His equation looks something like this. Circumstance plus my resources equals my results. Circumstance plus my resources equals my results. We can only ever get our results with our efforts. When you leave Jesus out of the equation, our efforts and our results is all you are ever going to achieve. Because Jesus actually works as a variable. Jesus works in algebra. Here is what our formula should look like. Circumstance plus X. What is X? X is the variable. What is the variable? The variable is Jesus. Circumstance plus X, Jesus equals God's results. Jesus is the variable, and the challenge of life is to bring him into the equation through faith. Philip had an equation, but didn't even consider the variable, Jesus. Listen to me, church. Faith that Jesus can do what you cannot will change how you see life from then on. Faith that Jesus can do what you cannot will change how you see life from then on. When you start looking at your problems, at your issues, at your circumstances, when you start looking at those things through a spiritual lens of faith, Using the variable Jesus into the equation, it will change how you see life. Now, it's important to note, this does not mean that all because you have enough faith, nothing bad will ever happen. This does not mean if I have enough faith in my life, I will never face anything of trials and tribulations. No, the Bible says we will face trials in this life. It's just the cause of sin. This does not mean if I have enough faith, my will is going to be done. What I want the situation to look like, that's going to be done. No, what this means here is that having faith in this circumstance means that you are trusting God's will to be done in you and through you and through the circumstance. It is about his will and not ours. 